Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on ForgottenWeapons.com. We're here at Rock Island Auction, taking a look at the guns for their September 2014 premiere auction. And I figured this would be a good chance, in addition to the military stuff I normally look at, to find myself a concealed carry pistol with some cool historical provenance. So I went looking through, see what they have, what's out there. And the first thing I came across was a Walther PPK. Uh, they're good, you know, they got the James Bond thing going, cool Walther history there. But it's a little bit big, you know, it's, you can't necessarily just stick that in the pocket. So I kept looking, see what else I could find, and lo and behold, found a Walther Model 9. Now that's pretty small. 25 auto, still Walther, still cool, but you know what? This still wouldn't always conceal well enough. So I kept looking. I think I found the answer. Lot 1587 is a 2.7mm Calibri. Now that is small. So the Calibri here is actually the world's smallest center fire pistol. It, it is in fact a center fire cartridge, 2.7 millimeter. These were designed and made by a gentleman named Franz Fanel. He was a professional watchmaker originally, which kind of explains some things. Uh, and he developed a series of automatic pistols. This 2.7 millimeter Calibri is the smallest of them. He did also have a 3 millimeter design. Um, and then a few things that got a little bigger. He did a 4.25 millimeter was, I believe, the largest that he ever worked on. This is a straight blowback pistol. Believe it or not, this isn't, you know, a replica or a, a miniature. This is a real full-size gun. It actually has a detachable magazine. In order to remove it, we pull down. It's really tiny. We pull down on the magazine catch. Now we can pull out the magazine. It looks just like a normal magazine, except it is absolutely tiny. And that feeds into the gun, just like that. You can see the magazine catch right there on the back. We'll click when it goes in. Like I said, it's a blowback pistol, so you can see the ejection port there. Slide comes back. There is a spring on top of the barrel. That's the spring guide rod, and there's a compression, a, a coil spring in here being tightened when you pull the slide back. The, the cocking piece, so that, that indicates that it is cocked. No trigger guard. So these were actually manufactured as legitimate self-defense pistols, although obviously, well, you, I mean, these were considered underpowered, way underpowered, ludicrously underpowered, even for the time. Um, this fired a three grain projectile at about 650 feet per second. Um, that's a total of three foot-pounds of energy, or four joules, for European folks. Um, there were about a thousand of these manufactured. Um, they, they were made shortly before World War I, and it was World War I that ended production, because, of course, you know, facilities started going towards military arms. Um, you can see in the grips, it does, the grips have a, an FP, that's Franz Fanel, and the word Colibri, that's the name of this pistol, which is German for hummingbird. So, which is an appropriate name for this thing. Uh, total loaded weight is about 7.7 .7 ounces. I'll show you some of the cartridges here too. In fact, this comes in its own presentation case. Open it up. We have the pistol. We actually have a little tiny cleaning rod for it. And this is a metal box of cartridges. open here. There you go. Let me bring this up. These are the world's smallest ever center fire cartridges. Let's see if I can pull one out. It does have a little projectile there. If we look at the back, you can see it, it is a center fire primer. So there are witness marks in theory for seven cartridges on the magazine there. Um, in fact, it only really likes to load five. You can kind of get a sixth in and it's not happy with seven. You know, this functions just like any other semi-auto pistol magazine. Just really, really tiny. 